So I have built a cool device. Uh, have a look at this. This is a bottle shaped dynamo. You can easily find this in your local bicycle store. It's very commonly available in India. Uh, this produces a 12 volt AC current, which is rectified by this uh, rectifier. And it's controlled by this inner diode, which limits it to 5 volt. And then I connect it to my phone. Right? Uh, like this. And uh, I'll ride the bicycle and see how much time does it take to charge my phone. Let's see. As you can see that the battery icon is blinking indicating that it's not charged. Now let me start riding the bike and then see what happens. You see it's charging, right? It works! Yay! Hey! <laughs> Right, so how do we do it? First thing you need is a dynamo. It generates AC electricity. So if you're riding at full speed, it will generate up to 15 volt AC. Then we need something which will convert that AC into DC. We use a bridge rectifier IC, DB107. Connect the ends marked with the AC sign to the output of the dynamo then after we have converted into DC right if you are riding fast it will generate higher voltage if you are riding slow it will generate lower voltage right so we need something which will stop you from inputting uh, high voltage like 10 volts or 15 volts into your cell phone so we need something called Zener diode so you'll see there is a mark on the Zener diode that should be connected to the positive terminal. Uh, this is a 5.1 volt Zener diode. So what it does is if you connect Zener diode to the output it will absorb the ex additional voltage which, which is produced by your dynamo and it will output only 5 volts. So if your voltage increases to say 8, to t 8 or 10 volts it will absorb it and it will give only 5 volts to your cell phone. Now if you connect this uh, this piece of uh, Zener diode directly to the output of this IC it will burn out because it can only handle some amount of uh, wattage which is 500 milliwatt. So we need a resistor in series which will uh, uh, take some power off Zener diode and it will save it, it will limit the current and uh, the output is like this see the waveform is like this even if you are riding at consistent speed we need something to filter this so we use a capacitor 100 microfarad across the output so that it makes it you know it filters it like this now this is it now I have chosen 100 ohms uh, resistor for my circuit for you it might be different because my dynamo uh, produces 15 volt output in a worst case scenario I mean the maximum output is 15 volt so how did I calculate uh, this the value of this resistor so consider this uh, consider the worst case scenario wherein your dynamo produces you are riding at full speed dynamo pr produces 15 volt AC right so the output here will be 15 volts bridge rectifies it 15 volt DC because you have got Zener diode it will only have 5 volt voltage drop across it and whatever resistor you connect you know the drop across that would be uh, 10 volt assuming that you have not connected your cell phone so 10 volt across this resistor 5 volt across the Zener diode right and Zener diode is 500 milliwatts so the maximum current it can hold is uh, 500 milliwatts that means 0 0.5 watts divided by the voltage because the power is uh, power is voltage into current so IZ max is equal to 
power which is 0.5 ampere divided by voltage 5 which is 0.1 ampere or 100 milliampere now imagine that resistance required is R so the drop across it we know will be 10 volts so that would be 10 volts is equal to IZ max which is equal to 0.1 into R so R will be equal to 10 by 0.1 which is equal to 100 ohms hence I have selected a 100 ohms resistor out here alright so this is a circuit uh, and I have made this circuit on the Vero board and I have connected it to the dynamo and this is the output I won't show you how to connect it to Vero board it's pretty simple if you are uh, if you do uh, prototyping then I think you will be familiar with this you can do it on breadboard also if you are not comfortable with Vero board and hook this up to your bicycle and attach this somewhere and connect these two to the uh, input of your uh, phone charger and you are good to go so I have taken an old charger and uh, cut this end out so, so I've got two wires here and one USB socket goes in here now I can connect this one is positive so connect the positive end to the positive right here the dynamo now I try to I turn it and this should start charging hey, hey. it's charging you can see that's it so try it out uh, please do let me know if you have any questions i'll speak to you soon bye